it's tough, you know, every time. Um, but I'd like for you to share what you'd like to about um, Eli and, um, and, and kind of tell the story of um, what happened. Uh, and I think it's important, and I know you know this, and this is why you're doing what you're doing now, because, you know, Eli uh, was, was one of um, our kids, you know, he, 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 it could have been anybody. Um, and, and so I know that's now what you're committed to, to doing and to help prevent, but maybe you could talk a little bit about uh, Eli and what happened. What we think happened is he was going to go out one night with his friends and he was getting ready to go out and we think he took something. What what we don't know is what did he think he was taking? We're not sure of that, but he took something presumed to be a pill uh, and was going to head to the bar. So whatever was in that pill... Um, we think was composed either entirely of fentanyl or a mix of fentanyl and something called Kratom, which is a plant-based uh, supplement that has opioid-like qualities. Those are the only two substances found in his body it was uh, fentanyl and Kratom. And we know, you know, that Eli didn't at the time of his death have a struggle with a substance use disorder. So we're, we're fairly, confident, I mean, I would say as his mother, 100% confident that he wasn't intending to take fentanyl. Uh, we think he probably had um, purchased or was given a counterfeit pill, which he thought was something else. When you think about um, the stuff that we did and that, you know, people have been doing for generations and you think about what might have happened with Eli, it feels very familiar as if it was just like a, you know, a little something to go have a good time and hang out and be with friends. And like you said, either relax or energy, it was pretty innocent, you know? And, and that's the thing that, that kind of one of the many things that strikes me is just how innocent um, a decision, you know, it was and how, um, you know, severe the, 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 the consequences are. It's, it's, it's not fair. It's not right. It's a big problem. Well, it's the biggest pro problem facing this generation. You know, it's, it's a public health crisis that uh, has no comparable numbers for the generation age 15 to 25 right now. You know, as I say in some of my uh, birdie light presentations, uh, it's, it's the, um, it surpasses even um, car accidents, suicide, COVID. I mean, all of it combined doesn't even equal the number of people dying from this. <laughs> 